Hi right, guys, this is the second episode of my uh, recommended saves series, and um, this is going to be the next one. But it's going to be a little different because I haven't played as many se uh, many seasons with this team as I have with Wimbledon, so I can't really show you the progression. But instead, I can give you uh, recommended transfer targets for the team, which I hope you can uh, use just as much. But um, anyway, this is going to be with Shivo Verona. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They're in Serie A. Their stadium capacity is pretty decent, 38,000. They've got uh, good training and secure financial. But a lot of it's in wages, so you'll have to adjust the budget. Uh, here's the keeper, Stefano, Stefano Serientino. Very good goalkeeper when you look at it. Handling 18, kicking 18, aerial 17, decision 17. Very, very good goalkeeper. Uh, but he is getting on a little bit. But he'll, he'll be fine for, you know, three seasons probably. So as long as you get like a youngish replacement, it'll be fine. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this this name, but I, I might give it a go. Hetima, Hetima. Oh no, that was really bad. <laughs> I apologise. Now I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. But as you can see, he's a very good player. Uh, he creates quite a lot of chances, and he can put them away as well. If you uh, if you get half a chance, and he's he's uh, actually pretty good in the air, which I didn't expect. But there you go. Yeah, pretty good player. Definitely in the first team when you get him. He's the best. This guy's the best striker in the team, Sergio Pulisic. And um, he isn't. He isn't bad, but he isn't what I'd call a prolific goal scorer. So I would definitely recommend looking into getting a new striker in the uh, in the summer because I, if you leave it all to him, I don't think he's going to get you very many. And you got Ronaldo Cruzado. Who is a midfielder in the middle, but you can put him wide because I had a problem with the amount of wide players they had, so I put him wide for a game and he got like an eight overall, uh, eight rating. Sorry, not eight overall. So um, yeah, you can do very well wide, so I wouldn't worry about where you put him. I know it says that he doesn't, but he can do all right there. Trust me on that one. Uh, Dario Danielli is probably the best centre back at the club when you go there, but he's only on loan from Genoa. <laughs> Genoa, I should say, but um, he is good. But me, I, I don't like going to a club with loan signings because you know they're going, and uh, it doesn't have a like a uh, steady foundation. So I prefer to buy a player that can match him, if you like. Uh, so it doesn't matter as much when he leaves. And this is the first of the transfer targets. I Iamonis Amantidis. It's Rob again. Probably said completely wrong. <laughs> Don't hate you on that, guys, but, you know, I'm not very good at these sort of things. Um, he's a free agent, but you do have to move quickly because he's normally gone by the third week of the season or, uh, into the, you know, into the window, so so you move quickly. He's pretty good. He's got some good stats there. This guy I'm sure you've all heard of, say Roberto. I actually don't know anyone that on Football Manager Handheld 12 hasn't got him once in the West Save, so... Very good. He's also a bit of an added bonus to this team because they haven't got a lot of wide players. So he does actually um, add a little bit to that you know, more than he would any other team maybe. But yeah, very good player and as you can see his average rating is 10. <laughs> so he can definitely do it in Syria even at his age. And I've got the centre-back, Arnie Fred Fredrich, another free agent. So all these are free as well, you're not spending any money. And when I've got him it says he's the best centre-back at the club so... And on a three, you can't grumble. He's a, he's a bit old, but two or three years still in him, I think. And he, yeah, like I said, he's a very good centre back. So I would apologise now for not doing the same amount of seasons. It's um, but it, I might be doing it this way from now on. So just to let you know that Edgar Silva is a brilliant striker, really, really good. Although well, I did pay a lot of money for him. I think I paid eight million for him, which is a lot, but he is very, 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 very good. Nineteen heading, seventeen shooting, sixteen decisions. I think that's sixteen stamina as well. Very good player. And he's relatively young, I think, as well. So I'm not gonna pronounce the team that I uh, bought him from because let's be honest, you're probably not gonna look it up. Just put in, you know, striker under ten million and it should come up. I pay, yeah, I did pay eight million. Five goals in three games, very, very good player and uh, probably the best signing I made because, like I said, you can't leave it all down to the Pelissier and he definitely does even it out. Okay, so as always, you know, thank you for watching, but I just want to say quickly, I want to start a series on this channel, like a uh, save series, uh, you know, going, you know, <laughs> normal series like a lot of the other guys have done. 
Um, but I want you to go up, because it's like a community channel, I want you guys to comment who I should be. Uh, and, yeah, it doesn't really matter to me who you choose, and if it gets any thumbs up, or a team's mentioned more than once, or in the end I might just choose, you know, if there isn't any of those two. But I'll go with whoever you guys say, I'll have no control in it whatsoever, and I'll definitely do it, whoever you say, so... I urge you please to comment, because, you know, it won't work if no one comments, so uh, please comment. As always, thanks for watching, and subscribe to this channel. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel, and definitely go out and check out the other guys on this channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, have a great day.